Hello, this is Lex Berman. I'm going to demonstrate the batch reprojection method using QGIS and processing. So here's a QGIS project opened up with one layer. And if you look at the project properties, you'll see it's in WGS84, standard decimal degrees. And uh, let's go ahead and add some data. I've got a folder on my desktop for this called Project. And I've got three data layers in there. And let's go ahead and open those first. So here's these three data layers. They're more or less the same, but uh, just showing you there's three different layers. Each one of these is in a standard Project Properties, take a look at the general CRS, they're in WGS84. Okay, so all of those are in the same projection. What I want to do is batch process them using the processing toolbox, and you can type in the word reproject, and you'll then see the reproject layer tool as a, as a processing function. So that's where you can go ahead and hit run as batch process and you can start to add rows or you can simply say go to input from the open layers and you can choose all the layers you want to batch process. They'll be listed here and then next step you want to set up the target CRS layers. Now I'm not sure how to batch this but if you input the I want to use the uh, world equidistant cylindrical, which is kind of like a Peter's projection. And I want it to be the same for all of these, so I'll go ahead and set that up for these three target layers. Okay. And then in terms of the output, I want to go ahead and say reprojected two, and I want to put them into this folder, next nested folder called reproj. There's nothing in there now, but I'll go ahead and give it the name reproj, and say save, and then it'll, it'll prompt me and say, do I want to autofill? If I say go ahead and uh, autofill with parameter values, then input layer, then it will take the input layer, which was 1883, and it will use the parameter I typed in and then pick up every new file name and add it as a suffix to the end. So essentially we'll get some unique file names, 83, 84, 85 on the end. So we're pretty much ready to run. In terms of loading it into QGIS, it'll load it as a reprojected uh, temporary file, which I'll go ahead and say yes, and I'll run it. Now it should be reprojecting the three layers that I chose. It's done. Okay, close that. And here they are, the three reprojected layers. Now if I turn those off, you'll see that if I just remove those from the layer list, you'll see that I can add them from that reproj folder. There they are. There's the three new ones. Go ahead and uh, move this so you can see it. Okay. Cancel. So now I have the three. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't seem to add it. Uh, Reprod. Here they are. Open. Open. There they are. So if I remove the originals, just so we don't get confused. they're gone. Now the three new ones as you can see if you look at their properties they're actually now reprojected into this 54002 and that's fine. Uh, and if I want to see the project itself, project properties, I can set the whole project with transformation on the fly to the desired coordinate system. There it is. It's basically a Peters-type world 
cylindrical equidistant coordinate system for all three of these layers. They're all done fine. And we've shown how to use processing in QGIS to batch reproject files. This, by the way, should have started in QGIS 2.10, and I'm using 2.14. I know it. I've tested it in 2.16 and 2.18. So good luck with those reprojections.